There's been a lot of talk and concern lately about the snowpack that we have seen this, this winter. The DWR just did a snow survey and they're finding that it is one of the largest snowpacks that we have ever seen, exactly where it's going to rate between the early 50s and the early 80s. Either way, it's a very large snowpack. And I've heard from a number of you that are concerned about flooding from the snowpack as the weather will inevitably warm up as we head through April and into May. So what I want to do is to show you the areas that may be vulnerable to flooding as we get snowmelt and the areas that are not, because I want a lot of you to realize that the snowmelt is going to be managed quite well in most areas, but there are going to likely be some trouble spots as all that snow melts. So I'm going to take you through a couple of areas that are trouble spots, but again, keep in mind that many of us are not going to be experiencing any issues from the snow melt. So what I want to show you is some graphics from the California Nevada River Forecast Center. And what you'll see here, there are some boxes here in orange and red, and uh, and these are going to be the areas that are highlighted. I'll get into more detail that in just a second. But you notice the areas that we are not talking about. We're not talking about the American River watershed. We're not talking about the Feather River watershed. We're not talking about the Sacramento River. Places like Shasta Dam, Oroville, Folsom, Bullard's Bar will all handle the snow melt in a very managed way. And while upstream rivers and downstream rivers will run higher than they did last year, there isn't going to be a flood concern because those rivers are going to be managed by the dams that are along them. So what we're going to see are areas that are a little bit farther south, the southern Sierra especially, where we could see some flooding concerns. But this is going to be a long, drawn-out process. So let me, um, let me show you a couple of the areas that we are looking at here. I'm going to start with this area right here. And what I'm going to show you is a, uh, a graphic that shows the probability of flooding. Now, this is the Merced River as it goes through uh, Yosemite at the Pona Bridge. What you have here, this line that says minor, 10 feet, that's the level of the, of the river. And along the bottom is these are weekly um, forecasts for the exceedance of, of a certain level, if you will. The blue bars mean that there's at least a 90% chance of getting to that. Once you get into the yellow, that means it's a 10 to 25% chance of getting there. Now, once you get up to around 10 to 12 feet at this location, there could be flooding on the roads that impact Yosemite, the, the south side road and the north side road. So as you, as you can see, through April, there's no concern here. This line in here is the early part of May. What catches my eye is here in early June, the first couple of weeks of June, there's a 90% chance or greater of getting to minor flooding status here on the Merced River. And there's a 25% chance of getting to 14 feet, which would impact the roads in Yosemite. So as you can see, it's a long drawn out process. Each one of these bars is one week and it goes all the way through the middle of June. So this could be an area that we'll have to keep an eye on. And again, keep in mind, this is a forecast. It's not a fact. We'll see how this plays out, and these will be updated continuously over the next few weeks. But over the next couple of weeks, not an issue. But as the weather warms up, we could see some flooding issues here in Yosemite on the Merced River. Let's take a look here at the Walker River. And this is going to be one that, uh, that has the potential to go up. Come on. You can do it. Here we go. Okay, so minor flooding here is at six feet, and it's the same story. As you can see, by the time we get to mid to late June, there is a 90% chance of having some minor flooding along the Walker River. For those of you that drive 395, you know this area quite well, and there is a 25% chance of it getting up to around seven feet, which would start to get into some buildings and uh, some roads and that sort of thing. But as you can see, through the month of May, there really isn't an issue. Most of the flooding here could be as we get into early, uh, early June. I want to show you one, well, actually I'm going to show you two other areas. Let's talk about the, uh, the Carson River, because this eventually gets down into areas like Gardnerville. Here, minor flooding happens at 13.5, and the peak right here, this is a 75 to 90% chance of getting to here. This is in late May, early June, and then you can see the threat of it goes off. Um, the highest point here is 14.25. This could um, impact some agricultural areas not too far from Gardnerville, but this would be in mid-May. This would be early June. 
So as you can see, these are all on the east side of the Sierra, and the one more that I'll show you is going to be the middle fork of the Feather River uh, near Portola. And here the peak is a little bit different. Here the peak is in late April, early, um, early May, and as you can see, it tapers off. And this one, the minor flooding stage, is way up here, and it, there, right now there isn't even a 25% or even a 10% chance of getting to that level. So again, I really just want to stress that for those of you that are concerned about the snowmelt, I've heard from some of you that live along the American River and you're concerned about it. Well, Folsom Dam is going to do its job. Consider that Folsom was built in 1955 and the American River has not had a flood uh, since that dam was built. That Folsom Dam is undefeated. From all the storms we've had since the mid 50s to now, all the big snowpacks we've had, Folsom Dam is gonna do its job and put down a nice regulated flow down the American River. So for those of you that live along the American River and you're concerned about it, no issues. Same thing for those of you that are impacted by the Sacramento River, the Yuba River, and the Feather River. While there might be high flows, there will not be flooding there. We could see uh, some flooding, continued high flows along the San Joaquin. And of course, there's also Tulare Lake, that area farther south will continue to be impacted. But for the most part, it looks as though the most vulnerable areas are going to be on the east side of the Sierra, the Walker River, the Carson River, and could impact areas on the east side of the Sierra, as well as in the Merced River. For those of you that do have vacation plans, travel plans in Yosemite late May, early June. Just stay tuned to the forecast as that level will get adjusted and we'll see how the snow melt happens because we could see some areas, maybe some campgrounds closed and that sort of thing in Yosemite in late May and into early June. We'll keep you updated here, but I just wanted to assure you about where we could see some flooding because of snow melt and where it's likely not to happen.